Hey, what's up, bikes? This is Sydney and Lauren, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Let's check out the Unsung Hero Art Project this year on Miss Simons. Miss Simons was chosen as this year's Unsung Hero recipient. I caught up with her and Mr. LaDuke and a student to see what was up. And then my response to that question was, it's like I can think of about 90 other people in this building who would be far <laughs> more qualified for that. Each year there's a different recipient. Could be a student administrator, could be a custodian, could be a cafeteria worker, could be absolutely anybody, a teacher. The project usually takes three to four weeks to complete. It was especially challenging this year with the COVID season and students not being able to get together in person every class period. So Jennifer Montag was one of many students to work on this piece of art. Well, I was really happy because me and Mrs. Simons have like a good connection. Um, she cried, so that was kind of like an amazing moment. Miss Simons has been with the district for 15 years. She explains it as, I worked five years for a law firm and it felt like 20. <laughs> I've, I've worked 15 years here and it feels like five. So it's a joy to come to this building every day. We thank Miss Simons for all she's done for this district. Credits to students include. Yeah, so students who, you know, were involved in the portrait this year were Jaden Brandt, we had Summer Gardner, Emma Horton, Jennifer Montag, Trinity Powell, Anna Brodine, Regan Carter, uh, Brindley Dieter, and then Maddie, Maddie Harlow. So, Once again, we thank you, Ms. Simons. Now on to today's announcements. Do you want to send a special message to someone? Well, you're in luck because boograms are being sold during lunch this week. Picture retakes will be on November 3rd and 6th from 7 to 2. Tonight's football game is against Washburn Rule. Make sure to check out the live stream of the game. Next, we're going to go behind the scenes with volleyball. SVTV goes behind the scenes of Seaman Volleyball. What goes into preparing for a, a volleyball match? A lot. Um, usually start by starting out the week, um, scouting the teams that we're playing that week going over what we can do to put us in the best position when we play that team during practice and just getting mentally focused for that week. What made Schaefer a good coach from your eyes? Man, her communication is, is great. Just how clearly she communicates her expectations with players as well as just like constant feedback, whether it's with players or, or me as a – even like with her assistant coaches or her managers or with, a, with parents – she just does a really good job communicating with everybody, whether it's a, just a timely feedback, but also just with her clarity as well. I think our coach, um, T, I think she does a really good job of seeing what the other team does really well. So if we're at a tournament or something, she goes and watches the other teams and takes notes and lets us know what they're going to do and what we need to do to make sure that we beat that team. So I think our coaching staff does a really good job of watching the other teams and letting us know how we can put ourselves in the best position possible to get a win. And she always makes practices super competitive uh, as well as fun for the girls. So they're not only fun, but uh, the girls are being pushed every single day that they enter the gym to, to meet her expectations, but also just to get better every day. And she just holds them to a really high standard, which um, – I think it's crucial, especially coming from your head coach. So this Saturday, we have our sub-state, which we play Highland Park and Shawnee Heights. So do you expect your team to win a couple games at sub-state? Yeah, I think we are planning to come out with sub-state or come out of sub-state with wins and make it to state. We're looking to get two wins on Saturday and then start our first round of sub-state on Tuesday, probably against Lansing, most likely. And then, yeah, I think we can go all the way and make the state, hopefully win a championship. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day.